I was doing a little reading, and I thought I would uh, show off my Dien Bien Phu book collection here. And there's a couple DVDs down at the end there, and maybe talk about it a little bit. Uh, it's my probably my favorite battle in many ways. So um, let's get started. This Hell in a Very Small Place by Bernard Fall is probably the the best in many regards, the best book on the subject. It was written in the early to mid-60s, and it is not only one of the best books on the subject, one of the best military histories ever written. It's gripping, uh, it's engaging, tells the complete story in as much as detail was available at the time. But excellent writer, you get a day-by-day -day account of the battle, the prelude to it, the aftermath, things that happened on the outside that affected it, Excellent. A uh, very gripping read. My introduction to the battle. I read that and was fascinated by it. Bernard Fall's other book about uh, the Vietnam War, Indochina War, and the French were there, Street Without Joy, which focuses on the Street Without Joy operations, but also has a good chapter on Dien Bien Phu. This came out before Hell in a Very Small Place. Probably the uh, a modern book released uh, within the last 10 or 15 years, The Last Valley by Martin Windrow, updates Hell in a Very Small Place in many important ways. It provides some additional background, use of classified documents that weren't uh, available uh, when Bernard Fall wrote Hell in a Very Small Place. Some additional military stuff for people who aren't as knowledgeable of military matters provides some good background and, and deep background there. But for instance, you know, how artillery works, what battalion sizes are, etc. So another great introductory book. Very big Heavy Duty covers a lot of stuff. Uh, Howard Simpson's here, uh, Dien Bien Phu, in the blue is an interesting account because Howard Simpson was actually there at the fortress of Dien Bien Phu before the battle. So he knew some of the, the actors and players personally, and he was located in Indochina during the time. Uh, Valley of Death is another modern one. Kind of slots in. I would say it's not quite as good as The Last Valley by Windrow. Um, but again, another good modern take brings some useful modern information uh, about the battle for. One of the earliest books here, probably the earliest, is The Battle of Dien Bien Phu by Jules Roy. And two reasons I don't like it too much. One, it's a translation. So there's some issues with the translation that make it a little... It doesn't quite read quite as smoothly as some of the native English books. But also he has a very particular bias in writing them, whereas these others are really bias-free. They're much more history books. Um, but he has uh, Jules Roy definitely has a bias there. Uh, this is a rare book um, that my mother got for me, uh, which I was very thankful for, which is a small book by John Keegan uh, about the battle. It has lots of pictures, good little book, not a whole lot of information in there. Down here we have a couple that are kind of tangentially related, well, one more so than others. Operation Vulture, this has some good info. And another gripping story, and this is touched on in all the others, but this devotes more time to it, um, was a, a plan where the U.S. would have bombed, possibly with nuclear weapons, um, the Vietnamese siege forces and Chinese siege forces. forces. Basically, the... Uh, the plan was we had a plan in place if the Chinese got involved, and we were assuming it was going to be jet fighters, uh, Chinese involvement as it was in Korea. But as it turned out, it was anti-aircraft guns, but equal impact. Um, oh, there's the cat. Can't do anything without the, you know, cats love books, in case you are not aware. Come on, move along. Move along. Here we have... A Brassies of Dien Bien Phu, which is a lucky find at a half price, just browsing through their military history and found that. So that's got lots of facts and figures about, you know, orders of battle, etc. So that's, uh, that is a great compendium. We have As France Goes, which is more uh, political and, and social uh, of, about France and the end of the colonial period. So as Indochina was falling and the start of the Algerian conflict. And here's a, a recent one, which is about the Indochina Wall, Indochina, Indochina War in 
in whole, and it's it's quite good. It's another newer book, Embers of War. There. And then I have two DVDs. Uh, the first of which is Peter Batty's Battle for Dien Bien Phu, which is occasionally available streaming on Netflix or Amazon. Uh, it's a short film, pretty good. Uh, a lot of quotes from Hell in a Very Small Place, of all things. And then here's another one. This is the French movie Dien Bien Phu, uh, which was actually by a filmmaker. I'm going to butcher the name Pierre Chaudin. Eh, whatever, we'll zoom in on him here. Schoendorfer, uh, who's actually a filmmaker, you know, serving at the battle. So he had first-hand, first-hand knowledge. This is a film from the 90s. I think at the time it was the largest budget French war movie up till that point. And you got real paratroopers filmed in Vietnam. Excellent film, and they touch on, they have scenes for a lot of the big dramatic scenes actually in the battle were reenacted here for this. Um, unfortunately, there aren't really good English language subtitles available. Um, you know, my French is awful, and I can read it a bit, understand maybe a little bit less, but I, I don't feel like the subtitles were that are available freely on the internet give it justice. Um, so that's kind of the the Dien Bien Phu book collection. Uh, as I said, probably my favorite battle, and one I do like to read about. And as I said, I'm currently rereading. Hell in a Very Small Place. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to talk more about the battle, uh, military history in general. If you'd like to see, or more accurately, listen on this channel to more things related to military history. And as soon as this is done uploading, I'm going to get back to making some computer videos. Thanks.